Hi everyone and welcome back to our reading comprehension lesson. Um, we're still on Icarus and Daedalus, a Greek myth, and the, today's focus is on inference and deduction. So, let's read the text again. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. So, the Greek myth. As prisoners of King Minos, Daedalus and his son Icarus were trapped on the beautiful island of Crete like songbirds trapped in a golden cage. And like caged birds, they watched with envy those who would come and go as they pleased. One day as the sun began to sleep and the moon began to wake up, Daedalus looked towards the heavens and watched the birds as they danced in the wind that carried them. Suddenly the, a seed of an idea was planted and it wasn't long before it began to grow. Night after night, the two prisoners searched the dusty ground for feathers, long forgotten by the birds. Each night they did this. And when the pile had grown large enough, Daedalus set to work. As Icarus slept, Daedalus sewed the feathers on to four large pieces of cloth, sealing them with wax to hold them in place. At last, their freedom was in sight. As dawn stretched around, Daedalus walked with his son to the tops of the cliffs and looked out towards the Mediterranean Sea. A soft breeze ruffled their hair and stroked their wings. Remember, even the birds can't shake hands with the gods, Daedalus warned. But Icarus didn't listen to the words of his father. Daedalus stepped off the cliff's edge. Icarus followed. Like eagles, they soared in the air. We're free, father, squawked Icarus. We can do anything we want. Remember, the birds, even the birds can't kiss the sun, Daedalus warned. But Icarus did not listen to the words of his father. By now it was noon and the sun was very hot. As Icarus climbed higher and higher, the wax that held his wings together began to drip, drip, drip. Soon rivers of wax flowed down Icarus's arms and his feathers began to fall like tears from the sky. Icarus plummeted into the ocean, the waves swallowing him up. Daedalus could only watch in horror as he saw his son fall like a stone to his death. If only you'd listen to me, he wept as his heart was broken forever in two. So today's focus is on inference and deduction. And I know you've seen this slide before, but it's worth mentioning every time. Deduction is drawing logical conclusions from the information given within the text, as well as using your personal knowledge to help you to do this. Inference is a bit more tricky. We call it reading between the lines. It's a bit like putting a jigsaw together with pieces missing and only part of the final picture there to guide you. It does involve sensible guesswork, supporting these ideas, but referring back to the text for evidence. So your first focus question, why do you think that the cage, so why do you think that the cage is golden? Pause now and have a think. Right, this question requires a little bit more thought, and it's not literal, you know, so it looks nice. It's not that kind of question, because they're not really in a cage. Their cage is the entire island that they're stuck on, okay? So a golden cage is still a prison of some kind, so they are imprisoned. Thus, their home was designed to keep them there. They're on an island where they can't get off. But you could have imprisoned somebody in an actual cage, you could have then just simply used iron bars for that. There's no need to, to use something as expensive as gold. Okay, and anyway, gold is quite a soft metal. Gold's expensive, thus indicating that where Icarus and Daedalus were in prison, their island was actually quite a grand and nice place to be, despite not having freedom. So it appears that they lived in relative luxury on their island, and they had a good life on that island. The only thing that they couldn't do was leave. So this tells us that they must have come from a noble or wealthy family. Otherwise, they've just been put in a prison cell with iron bars over the front of it. So your questions today, inference and deduction questions. Why does the writer liken Icarus and Daedalus to songbirds trapped in a golden cage? Why do you think that Icarus slept whilst his father made the wings? They set off at dawn. Why do you think that they chose to set off at this time of day? Dawn is first light in the morning. Why do you think that Daedalus stepped off the cliff first? And the final question, you can't quite see it there at the bottom. Is it always easy to listen to an adult giving you advice? Explain. Good luck. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.